I found some Wonder Woman keys. Hey YouTube comic community, this is Jimmy the Geek Aficionado, and I picked up some sweet Wonder Woman keys from the Silver Age. Uh, Hiram. Hiram's Collectibles on Instagram. Information right there. Is a great seller. And if you haven't checked him out, you need to. He's fantastic. He gets a lot of great stuff. Good prices. Easy to work with. Uh, and I, I, I love working with him. So, he had a claim sale. And this book came up a couple of times. And nobody jumped on it. And I'm like, you know, I really want that. So uh, I worked with them offline. We talked it out, worked some numbers, and uh, both of us came out very happy with those those numbers. And I got a great Wonder Woman key, along with another book that I didn't pick up in the auction. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Before I tell you about what's in there, I'm going to show you this other one because there's two books in here. I got this other book from Paradise Comics. Now, this is technically a bigger book than the other book. Kinda. We'll see, right? <clears throat> but I think they're both fantastic. This is an incredibly rare Wonder Woman comic. And it's from the Silver Age. And it's issue number 105. And this is the um, more fleshed out Silver Age origin story of Wonder Woman. Now, the new Silver Age origin story for Wonder Woman is issue number 98. Uh, and that kind of kicks off that new, uh, that new uh, Wonder Woman kind of, you know, configuration, right? Like, because the Golden Age stuff, they're kind of treating that as like Earth 2. So this is the, the, the Earth 1 Wonder Woman. This is her origin story. It's a crazy cover with this uh, bird, you know, eating a plane. Um, I think that's Steve Trevor trapped inside the plane, if I'm not, uh, yeah, that's definitely Steve Trevor in there. Uh, but this is a super rare book. Uh, I think it has to do with the print run um, at the time. I'm not entirely certain, but uh, I might find out some more information. But I do know that it is classified as scarce. So make sure you read your Overstreet Grading Guide notes. So that is the first big, big book for Wonder Woman. And here is another. So it's this super cool man in the iron mask cover here with uh, Wonder Woman with an exploding mask. But what's important about this book is that this is the origin of Wonder Woman's invisible jet. So those of you who saw Wonder Woman 1984, you saw that version. I think the Wonder Woman TV show from the 70s had another one, but this is the original. This is how Wonder Woman gets her invisible plane. So that in itself is pretty damn cool. I'd have to say, but I'm glad to have it. It, uh, it fills out the run nicely. It's a nice 4.0 copy. Thank you, Hiram. I do appreciate that, sir. That is a wonderful addition to my collection. As is this. This was actually on my 2019 hunt list, and I never, never got it. Just you know, I was waiting for the right. You know, I didn't want to pay a lot of money, and I didn't pay a lot of money. Um, but uh, yeah, super happy. Robbie Reyes, Ghost Rider number one. That's cool. And because you know, I saw the uh, Marvel Agents of Shield uh, when he came on there, and the fact that he's rolling around in a Challenger, just you know, tearing things up. Is it a Challenger or a Charger? I want to say it's a Challenger, but it might not. It's a Charger. He's rolling around in a Charger, tearing things up. That's something badass about that. There just really is. So Robbie Reyes, Ghost Rider number one, now officially in the PC. Um, I think this guy is solid enough to get uh, to get the 9.8 slabbing, but we'll see. If not, it'll just stay in my lar and stay in my collection, and I'll be a happy camper either way. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to hit that uh, thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell. We'll catch you next time. Thanks.